Well, this is attempt number two, making this video. I'm Barbara, you're at Queens Avenue Tarot, and I'm here with bad hair. That being said, it's because I have messed up my back and I have been laying on a heating pad and I've got the, pad, the you know, the sticky um, things on my back and everything. And uh, so, but I'm here today to do, um, Taro review. I have two new decks. Um, this one is the Go the Good Taro by Colette Baron Reed, and it's really beautiful. Um, I love the box that it's in. It's really heavy duty. I like these kind of boxes. Some of these boxes they don't last past the time you uh, take them out of the box. Like for instance, this deck is a great box. I mean, it's a great deck. I would like it a lot. But uh, box, I, it's falling apart, and I just got these. I mean, I'd, I'd really like to like to have a nicer box. Um, these little thumb boxes, not so great. So, uh, and I probably have these all mixed up too because I already did this video once. Um, let's see if they're mixed up. Yeah, they are. I wanted just to do the, uh, maybe I can find the Major Arcana here. Yeah, it looks like I got them. This, this card stock is probably the best I've ever felt. I mean, it's just really good. They are shiny. This is what the back looks like. So. Uh, you're going to get a glare on these if you try to use them outside unless it's a cloudy day or something. But um, really nice, thick, heavy duty. So this is the Fool. These cards are really, really pretty. Um, I'm very happy with them. And the Magician. The Magician who looks like Santa Claus. Doesn't he? I like that. High Priestess. She looks like that elf, elf and queen on Hobbit, doesn't she? Kind of. What's her name? Kate Blanchett. Kind of reminds me of this elf. There are these cards. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Um, the Empress. They're very pagan-ish um, looking cards. Very woodsy. Um, the Emperor. I love him. I mean, he's a look. He's got he's got his hand on a sword. He's got armor on, and he's the king. Well, he's the emperor. Hierophant, beautiful. This is love. It's not lovers. It's in this deck called love. It's stunning. Chariot. Look at the swan neck on that dark horse. Wow. Beautiful. Of course, there's nothing wrong with a, maybe it's an Andalusian. Nothing wrong with an Andalusian either. This just looks more like a American sour bread to me. And they're kind of hot. It's my temperature is my uh, experience with them. This is the strength card. Look, he's roaring. Whoops. Every time I every time I hear that song roar, uh, it takes me back to when my daughter was um, about in fifth grade, and her and her friend were sitting in the back of my car. She and her friend were uh, sitting in the back of my car singing that song. And every time I hear it, it reminds me of that day. Do you ever do that with songs? Here's the hermit card, and the cool look at the hermit. He's right here, like the green man. That is so cool. I love these keys. Fortune's Wheel. 
I mean, I'm sure there's a lot in here that I'm not seeing because I'm going through them so fast. There's a lot of little hidden things in here. Like, for example, I don't yet know what that is. And I don't have, I need to put my good glasses on. This looks like somebody looking down a well or looking in a window, maybe. I don't know. But um, I have to put my stronger glasses on to see. This is the Justice card. She's got a sword and she's got the scales. Hangman. Isn't that neat? The colors. Artwork is brilliant. I love the colors. Transformation. This is uh, the death card in the other decks. The death card's always the 13. Okay. 13. Um, so this is for um, change and transformation. Death card. This is the temperance card. In this deck, it's called patience. And this is the devil or temptation in this deck. And I really love this. Um, you have a woman laying up here on top of what I guess is an apple. What's eaten out of it is in a heart shape. And there's your box of gold and your golden cup. She must be an angel with green wings. The tower. I'd like to go and make vacation to that place if I knew it wasn't going to fall down. Did you guys hear that? My cat just mess something up over there. She knocked something down. That's why I don't let her in here with me because she, she's always into something. She's kind of a brat. Star. The star always reminds me of an Aquarian because they're usually pouring out this jug. The moon. Looks like she's spreading pixie dust. Sun. The call, which is the judgment card. And the world. This is so, look, there's a key hole up here. It's fabulous. And I thought I'd Look at a couple of the court cards. Here's the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, Fire, and they're calling it by the elements in this. She's really cool, isn't she? Um, instead of a, the pages are messengers, so this messenger of air or mess, uh, messenger of Swords, for example, is uh, the spy card. This is the Ace of Pentacles. I love that. I have another deck somewhere, and it's so similar to this, and I can't figure out which one it is. It's the King of Pentacles. I've looked, and I've looked, and I can't find it. Oh, man, she's a beauty. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Earth in this deck. King of Water, or Cups. Poseidon. A Santa Claus Poseidon. I wonder what my cat got into. Queen of, wa Queen of Water, or wand, uh, cups rather. Queen of Water. We did fire. Yeah, these are really beautiful. So that's this deck. And I have another, I have another good one for you too. I just got these yesterday. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews. I have uh, an iron in the fire, you might want to say, and I want to uh, see if that works out. Okay, uh, this next, the next um, one I have is 
the Druid Craft Tarot. And this is by, let's see, this is Use of Magic Wicca and Druidry, Druidry to Guide Your Life. And this is by Philip and Stephanie Car Cargom, G-O-M-M, -M, illustrated by Will Worthington. Okay. So it's this really neat little drawer. It pulls out, you know, it's got a little satin ribbon, pulls it out. It's got a really nice big beautiful book. I think it's like 190 pages. Um, not in color, but it is it is really nice. So let's do the major arcana on this deal too. These are so cool. Okay, now these also uh, are not a matte finish. So again, um, they're going to be shiny if you try to do them outside. I like the back. I like that Celtic knot. I like the color of them. This cardstock's really good. I mean, it's not as good as that, but it's still good. So this is the fool. And I like this. He's a traditional fool. He's got the feather in his cap. He's got his knapsack. He doesn't have a rose, but he does have a plant with little white flowers on it. And he's got the dog. So, leap and, leap and the net will appear. I'm not talking to that person right now. The magician at Stonehenge, I assume. She's pretty witchy looking uh, high priestess, isn't she cool? The empress or the lady? Is that a little fat frog there? I can't tell. I'm going to have to look at these with my other glasses. So this is the emperor. Is that right? Yeah. The emperor. Now, again, I have another deck of cards that are so similar to these, and I can't figure out which one it is. It's not the Atherin Tarot. It's not the Robin Wood Toro. It's not the Tarot of Druids. See, that's... It's not the Atherin Tarot. It's not any of those. But I have another deck that's so similar to this, i got to figure it out. I wonder if it's the same artist. Okay, so here's the Hierophant, or in this deck, High Priest. Pretty um, sexy lover's card. Chariot. I love that. Strength card. Wild boar. Wow. The hermit. I love the wolf. Now he looks like Gandalf to me. Just saying. The Wheel, or Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Whoops. Okay. The Hangman. It shows everything, so I'm going to have to restrict this from kids. So. Death Card. That's, that's a pretty good death card. Okay, I don't know. How, this is temperance, but I don't know how to say that word. I'm thinking... Krilt? I don't know what word that is. I can't, I can't figure it out. Let me see if it's in the book. How you say that? Feralt, I don't know. It's Beltane. Um, I know that. 
This is Bridget, Bridget with a D. But I don't know how to pronounce that Welsh word. But I like, I like the, I like the card. I think it's, I think it's cool. Okay, so this is Sir Nunos or Sir Nunos or the Devil. And I know I've seen this card in one of my decks, and I can't figure out. That's a pretty scary devil. I can't figure out where I have it. Okay, the tower. Pretty cool tower, huh? It reminds me of something maybe. This place I've been in, in northern Wales. Um, it's a really cool manor house turned in that's on a lake called Lake Vernway. And there's a place that kind of looks like this. I love it. Here's the star. Again, very Aquarian. Very naked, which doesn't bother me, but I'm, I'm going to have to restrict it. Um, the moon. Love that. Here's a little crab. Sometimes it's a lobster. Um, the sun. Look at his face. He's got the faces are great. The horse is absolutely beautiful. And this is rebirth or the judgment card. Same thing. His face is really good. Love the rabbit. I used to have a little stone like this. It was about this big and it had those circles on it. And it was some kind of a replica of it used to be on my desk. It was some kind of replica of um, I don't know. It was a whim to, for women. And this is the world. Now, in this particular instance, they've decided to use a fig leaf. I don't know why, but I think it's a great card. Okay, so uh, let's see how much time I got. Okay, so this is we're, we'll do the um, court cards or the kings and queens. Okay. Um, this is the King of Swords. Now he looks to me like the King of the Elves on The Hobbit. That's what he reminds me of. Queen of Swords. And she does not look like an elf to me. There's a King of Cups. He's a little chubby, isn't he? That's the first time I've ever seen it. Oh, look at it. He's got an Irish wolfhound back there. He should have red hair. Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Love the colors. Love that. I love this uh, cape. There's the King of Pentacles. Little boar back here and a bird over here. There's a lot to look at in these uh, in these cards. They're very detailed. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. So you know the Pentacles are Earth. So see, here's a bull. There's another bull. So Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. She's got a drum that she's beating with a bone. That's pretty cool. Pretty, it's way, you know, very pagan. The King of Wands. Again, he looks elfish to me. Elf, elfin. Elf, elfin, I guess you would say. Queen of Wands. I would highly recommend this deck and the other one that I just showed you. Look at the cat. Yeah, I like her. This is actually my um, significator card, the queen, because I'm an Aquarian. And uh, I guess that's it, you guys. Um, there's a couple. Here's look at the ten of wands. That's cool. The only way they could have improved this would be to have, you know, that ch a chalk chalk drawing back there. And here's the the nine of wands. You know, this is sitting up in bed at night, I think. No, oh, that's a knight of swords. <laughs> oh, God. 
This is cool, the Eight of Wands. This is like the arrows of love or something coming to a quick, quick, uh, quick end. So those, that's those two decks. Um, I really like both of them a lot, and I highly recommend them, especially if you're getting just getting into this. If you're just getting into reading tarot, you might go with one of the like the quick and easy deck, or there's an, I guess my quick and easy deck is upstairs. Maybe that's where my other tarot card is that looks like this and I can't find them. This deck I, I reviewed the other day, this is called Easy Tarot, but the only reason that this is called Easy Tarot is because it has this paper thing. It, it would be so much better if it were um, cloth. And it shows you where to lay the cards for a Celtic cross. And um, this is a Llewellyn um, deck uh, illustrated by Cyril Marchetti, which is why I bought it. It's Llewellyn. think it is but the box isn't that great but the, the box on the quick and easy tarot tarot isn't that great either but but this kind of thing it would help you if you're just getting started otherwise all the cards are just exactly the same as all the other I mean they're not exactly the same see but they all mean the same thing so that's the world that's the her can't see it. Temperance? I don't know. Wheel of Fortune. So now I'm now I've got to figure out which deck it is that looks like those. But I'm I I really like this deck and I really like this deck. Highly recommend both of them. So um, I'm gonna go get back on my heating pad for a little while and try to chill out. And, uh, oh, uh, also, January, um, January, November 2nd, Chris at Celestial Chris Tarot is doing a, uh, a collab, and if I can figure out how to get on it, I, I will, but I'm, I, I, I'm pretty computer, computer savvy, but I don't know what kind of program they're, I mean, are they using Zoom or whatever? I think there's going to be five or six of us on there the night before the election, and it's going to be live. So, um, keep that in mind, because that'll be fun. And it, oh, I think it's at 7.45 Eastern Time, or no, well, I don't know. I don't remember if it's Eastern Time or, um, or Central Time. I think it may be Central Time, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's November 2nd, and I'll let you know more about that. And also, click the bell if you want to know uh, when I'm coming back on. Hit like and subscribe. really helps me out, and I love being here with you guys. Sorry I haven't been around. I've been helping my friend, which is how I got my back injured. But um, uh, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.